Hello and welcome to Event Flash, your regular video update on all the news in the UK events industry and from further around the world. Now, this week you may have seen that we ran a story saying that up to 60% of the events industry suppliers are not convinced they're going to be able to survive the next three months, with some 6% even worrying they're not going to make it to the end of April. Now, unsurprisingly, this has had uh, a lot of online traction here at MASH Media. Uh, now, the story suggested that only a handful of suppliers had had any luck with the government's coronavirus business interruption loan scheme. Uh, and this week, the national press have gone further to say that only about £8 billion of the pledged £330 billion has actually had successful applications. Uh, so not much of it's gone out at all. Now, unsurprisingly, we've had lots of messages, uh, particularly from the event supplier side of the industry, come to us uh, to tell us that they've been rejected. Now, this is really alarming, and we, uh, we really do urge you to get in touch with us uh, if you have been rejected for one of these loans. We need to get to the bottom of this, and I think lots of, lots of voices together will help make a case. We really do need to hold the banks to account here. Now, elsewhere in the industry, some big news today from exhibition organising giant Informa, which has just rescheduled 410 of its events, no less. Now, they've issued a, uh, a new placing of ordinary shares as part of an extension of its COVID-19 action plan. Now, the proceeds of the placing, uh, it says here, uh, which we understand are oversubscribed, will be used to strengthen its balance sheet and to reduce overall Debt. Now, the total number of shares will be approximately 19.99% of the company's existing issued share capital and equate to approximately £1 billion. Now, combined with other financing measures, the share placing will increase Informa's total liquidity to about £2.3 billion. Now, that is a bold move. Now, casting our net further afield into the international scene, with uh, exhibition and convention centres around the world increasingly being converted into temporary hospitals and health centres and all the rest of it in the global fight against the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, the Global Industry Association's, uh, for the exhibition industry I add, UFI and AIPC, have followed up with the joint publication of their Good Practice Guide for COVID-19 for Convention and Exhibition Centres with a second guidebook, and that guide provides specific guidance and framework for venues, and you'll find more about that on Exhibition World. Now, to join the conversation, the discussion, to share your views, please do pop over to the MASH community. We are desperate to hear from you.